Wow. That's... Wow. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. Oh, look. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. <laughs> what do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. But I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. <laughs> we'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. This is kind of crazy. Just like that. What was that? I said you're Arthur's bad dead. Influence. Camp uh, Frick man and, and Micah too. Which books? Ugh. Which books was that? You know that dime novel or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, <laughs> of the round table. That's the cool. King. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling sure about does. this place. Been a long time. Okay, so I keep thinking like, okay, well, this is when John's story starts, but it's not quite the case. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. <laughs> Grave digging or uh -huh. polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. I did not expect that we would be playing help as you, John. I'm hoping I at can all. help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my Milton. wife and I and our That's boy. Good. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. I could do that. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Hmm. Uh, Where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right. New chapter, boys. Good, honest work. For a good, honest guy. Ish. Doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. 
Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. <laughs> oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. And what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. All right. And John, I love you. Don't <laughs> you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. I won't. And Jack's with you, I guess. <laughs> it's like, don't touch me, Mom. Not a little kid anymore. We loaded her up pretty good, Milton. All right. Good. Now you ride slow now. Yetis don't want his goods damaged. Fair enough. Of course. Please don't roll this thing. Not the first day on the job. That didn't sound good. I don't like how quiet and normal this feels. It's unsettling. Watch out, rabbits. I'm not hunting yet, but I will unintentionally. Nice place. I got delivery for you. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why, you looking for work? Yeah. Yeah, big time. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all work. <laughs> Big Lancelot. Man around, Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that uh -oh. ain't very neighborly. 
And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? Show them our true it's colors here in a second. Scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Yeah. Whoa. Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. Oh, this will impress them. That's my damn wagon. Block its path or jump aboard from your horse. Oh shit is right. Idiots. <laughs> Are they not even armed? I didn't really think that through very well. But if these guys aren't impressed, I'll be shocked. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble are you in? <laughs> no trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. All Thank right. you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case okay. any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. What a life change this is. Like, holy moly. That would be tough to acclimate, man. Epilogue Part 1, Pronghorn Ranch. All right. Me again. New horses available to purchase in the Blackwater and Tumbleweed Stables. Easy whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa! You're quick. You're quick. I'm curious. Rachel. Okay. Thought, you know, maybe, just somehow, unlikely, but maybe, Mr. Chucky would somehow make an appearance. Hmm. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. 
Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here, something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Why is he saying it like that? Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. <laughs> Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe I hope it so. Is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Yeah, maybe. Look, can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... Fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching Jesus. by throwing your weight around. Uh, Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. <laughs> Tensions are tight already. Frick. I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Well, I don't know. I don't sure. know what else I'm supposed to do. Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? Yeah. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts. I think before, this one's trying to get out. Ago. Oh, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. Yikes. Ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? No, sir. Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand. That's then. it, just a just ranch, a ranch hand. hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better <laughs> having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. All right. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> Let's milk some teats. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. All right. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Oh, yeah. That'd be the same way. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, you ain't so bad. Almost got a pail full. Yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna keep up with this life, hey, to be honest. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. <laughs> we're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta earn our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Milking, sure. cleaning poo. Come on, son. Born for it. I, 
How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. <laughs> I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> to say the I least. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. We're gonna handle this Boy, poop so bring good. Bring wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Not a speck of poo left behind. You're a long okay. way from Angelo Bronte. Maybe a, maybe a little Sorry, bit of a speck. Sir. Nothing. You almost got me. <laughs> Buckle up, boy. Hold on a moment. This is the easy stuff. Look at this horse shit. Uh. <laughs> well, that was a couple clean lifts right there. Say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> Abigail, we need to get out of here. We're not fit for this. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Uh oh. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Some sweet ass pajamas we got going on there. There's worse things in life to wake up to, though. Hey, lady. Okay, so hold on. Who who else is out here? David Geddes. Or Dick. Let's go to Dickens first. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? That's what I'm here for. Sure. Know much about fence building? Oh, yeah. I built Not them all really. time. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, <laughs> ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. I know how it looks. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. That's fair. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep. 
There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Okay. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. How do you, like, tighten them up afterwards? You're doing all right. Like, to ensure that they don't sway at all. Okay. Or they just brace each other, maybe? I don't know anything about fence building. Especially like this. <laughs> That's it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. Well, I think I got other it. Other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. I just okay. can't imagine that we can do this for very long. Where he's not like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> like, this is not. Even if you want a calmer life. You're so used to the high pace craziness that that's such a sharp transition. I guess it's been years, so we don't know exactly. Maybe it's been a slower transition than I'm anticipating, but. Jim over here. Put that fist down and get over here, boy. I'm coming. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Oh, yeah. Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. This Howdy. Is Milton. Angus is your boss's son. Okay. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Whoa! Whoa. Shit. Shit. I'll get him. I gotta build that. Oh, come on. No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Come on. Jesus. Oh no! It just charges me. Shit. Bad ball. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. You need to calm down. Be it cool, buddy. So be cool, be cool. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. You got a temper on you. There, there. I just don't want to be in front there, of him. There, there. All better? Okay. All right. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. This way. Stop. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. They're all just chilling. How you doing, son? Watching the new guy struggle with a this bowl. sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. All right. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. So wait, she okay, can work Bob. other places? I wonder, that's later. an interesting setup. You would think if they're boarding and feeding her that she would have to work here. But... 